Hello, my name is Anukriya. Friends, have you ever tried to figure it out that if you are good at reading, writing and listening English well, so why can't you speak English fluently and confidently? Yes, I will reveal you the reason. Because once you read, write or listen, everything happens between two people and both are you. It's only you know what you are exactly doing but once it comes to speaking the English language there are more witnesses who are noticing what you are exactly doing if you are using the correct pronunciations if the sentence is right if you are good at it etc etc all right so you just try to be fluent with your language and once you are not able to be succeed in this area what you do you just commit few mistakes all right so before i go very much on the floor i just want to introduce you that what exactly fluency means what do you understand that fluent english means suppose if i am speaking in a manner like i will get up very early in the morning tomorrow because i have to rush to my college i'll take my bath early probably i'll miss my bath and probably i'll miss my breakfast and i'll leave for uh, probably at 10:30 in the morning and i'll reach the college on time do you think that this is the fluency in english means no all right if you think that this is the fluency means that you appreciated me so i'm quite happy it's good for me but for your kind information the fluency doesn't mean that you are speaking english language in a rapid manner and with a high speed or in a zeal or enthusiastic voice no once it comes to the fluency it should be connected with each other sentences all right and the uh, pronunciation should be clear and the message should be conveyed to the listener what you have in your mind this is what the fluency is meant if you are working at a professional place and you need to deliver a speech as a presentation so you can say i am quite delighted that i have got an opportunity to be speak before you people uh, in my speech i will try to convey the whole information to all of you and during the whole speech if you find any trouble or any query you can ask me at the end of the session this wrap of the speech was quite slow but clear to you it was not in a rapid manner so fluency means clean conveyed all right and clear pronunciation nothing much than that and the first method to be fluent in english is think in english this one is carrying four parts and you have to follow one by one each all right so first one is think individual english word since you get up early in the morning and you sleep by the night there are lots of object you see around you i'm telling the object it means the single thing all right it may be a toothbrush your towel then your bed sheet then wash then breakfast newspaper table chair then bus then uh, reaching to your college or your office then there is your workstation then what you have kept the, on your workstation your flower vase your folder cabin of the boss etc anything all right every object you see and observe relate that in english word in your mind only thing all right next segment comes that is think about simple and easy small sentences doesn't matter that these sentences relate to whom or which thing all right if you are walking over the road you are watching someone she is beautiful she is taller he is walking in a right manner or someone is standing on the road she is crossing the road anything all right think all this situation every day you are watching around you in simple small sentences doesn't matter if the structure is very you know a um, lighted one i mean this it is not very heavy it's not carrying a huge vocab at least you are maintaining your habit thinking in english because you never know which day or what day your tongue will be pronouncing or delivering that kind of content in english because you have a developed a habit of thinking every day in the same manner now the third thing comes that think about the functional english it means you are thinking the english related to your real life what you do and perform i get up early in the morning i brush my teeth i uh, take my bath then i have my breakfast i leave at 10:30 i reach my office then i start working at by 11 o'clock etc etc it's all about how you function and how you perform every sentence is a simple and small and every day you are thinking about that 
all right whatever you do so think about this functional english fourth segment comes that here you need to tell a story it means that whatever has happened around you last night on the dining table what discussion you had with your family people you need to inform about that discussion to your friends in the college so what you are doing you are just preparing a speech in your mind you are thinking you are talking to yourself that yes i had this kind of conversation happened to me and i just asked to my parents or friends or whatever and they had told me this and i will to deliver this to my college friends this kind of process will help you out thinking the whole content in a paragraph and you will be delivering it once it comes to the speaking english so once the four process is over you will be able to speak up fluent english it means clear and quite nice pronunciation you will be having as a words but it is also essential that you have to be consistent and regular with these methods don't skip it all right don't skip don't break the chain of practicing of this method then only it is going to help you out so today i have picked the word breakfast i just had my breakfast it seems very delicious i will inform my friends that how delicious breakfast my mother prepares and tomorrow she has promised me that she is going to prepare a nice yummy porridge all right this is how from journey happened from a word to a story so in this way you need to practice your language now one more method i need to introduce you and that is a talking to the children yes every of you must be having your children around you if you are beginner at the english speaking and you are having children around you and they are quite good at their basic english speaking do speak with them because they are not going to pinch you out about the mistakes you commit or they are not going to let you down if you do something wrong all right it is going to increase your confidence and definitely you will be improving your english language in a better manner day by day so do follow all these things definitely you will be improving that's all for today bye